It's a different series. It's not like anything that's out there right now or has been out there for a long time. It's exciting, it's scary, it um, deals with many areas of, of reality and of the imagination and um, and and I think that, that, that people will really um, will really just be blown over by it. I think they'll be fascinated by it. Do you believe in the existence of extraterrestrials? Logically, I would have to say no. And here comes my co-star. Sorry, FBI. David Duchovny. Have to take her away. What we're investigating are um, these things called X-Files, which are, are files based on um, material that the FBI and other uh, police departments have been unable to solve. And so we go and uh, investigate these unsolvable cases. This looks like an X-File. When I first read the, the, the pilot script, um, I, I couldn't put it down. And I was very intrigued by, by the character of Dana Scully. I mean, she's very, um, she's very intelligent. She's more than one dimensional. She has many, many dimensions, and I think that came out in the first script, and it continues to come out. My job as an FBI agent, first and foremost in this series, is to, um, is to kind of watch over what he does to make sure he doesn't go too far or learn too much or, or um, go a little too out there. And I have a much more um, skeptical approach to, to the stuff that, that we see. You're part of that agenda. You know that. I'm not a part of any agenda. You've got to trust me. I'm here just like you to solve this. Yeah, it's kind of antagonistic at first because she's the rationalist and I'm the fantasist. It probably has to do with your reputation. Reputation? I have a reputation? Well, he's passionately trying to, dis to discover physical evidence for this because of something a personal uh, event that happened to him when he was a child. He believes his sister was abducted. So his passion is really fueled by something very personal. And uh, it's almost as if he's, he's trying to save his sister throughout all these things. And it's again, it's taken the form of whatever investigation he's going with. But at the heart of it is, you know, maybe I'll save my sister, maybe I'll find my sister, maybe I'll you know, we all have one, at least one event in our lives that we wish we could have been different at. And I think he feels responsible for not protecting her. So I, I think that this fuels everything. They feel your methods, your theories are... Spooky. Do you think I'm spooky? And the one we're shooting now, there's kind of like a 150-year-old serial killer who eats five livers every 30 years and then hibernates and doesn't age. Are you suggesting that I go before the violent crime section and present a profile declaring that this is the work of a 100-year-old serial killer who's capable of overpowering a healthy six-foot-two businessman? And he should stick out in a crowd with 10-inch fingers. We're going to go to his lair, and it's kind of uh, the, the walls are lined with bile, and, uh, and he, he kind of he makes a nest out of... Uh, he wets newspaper and kind of makes a little bird's nest that he hibernates in. No one could live in this. I don't think it's where he lives. I think it's where he hibernates. When I first read this particular script, I, I had nightmares the first night that I went to bed. <laughs> yes, I did. And I, I'm looking forward to uh, some more, <laughs> more restless evenings. I think what we have to do is track Eugene Toombs. There's four down and one to go this year. If we don't get him right now, the next chance we're going to get is in... Uh... 2023.